So, first time out on the boat since my injury. Wearing my moon boot on the boat. Let's see how we go. And I just didn't want to risk my foot at those busy ramps down near the ocean. As you can see, there's no one here. So I did the right thing. And uh, yeah, go for a nice fish in the river. As I said, it's been four weeks since I've been out in the water. So I'm actually pretty stoked I got out here. How are you, kids? Make sure you look after mum and dad. All right, let's do this. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, right, eh? I am a bit disabled. Everything seems all new to me. I haven't been out here for a while. I'm finding cold boobs on my dash, I'm finding underneath the cornices and the rod holders. Not good. Welcome back in, about the fish tucker man. And we are going for some fish tucker. As I said, I haven't been out here for a while, four weeks, so I'm pretty stoked just to get out here. I'm just going to take it easy. As you can see, I'm a bit injured still on the foot, ankle. And uh, you're going for some tailor. Hopefully I can get some underwater footage like last time. Get that little movement from the water and try and get the fish to take it. Yeah, so I'm pretty stoked. There's no doubt it's just nice to calm relax. Not blue flop, just get out, get some fish tucker. Right, so the first thing I'm gonna be trying to do, just locate any birds hovering near the surface of the water. Indicates a bit of bait fish, hopefully some tailor underneath it. And if I don't see any birds, I'm gonna see a few. I'll just go over some of the channel markers and just troll. Bit of a waiting game. I've got the lure right here. It's a dollar double clutch. And then later on I'll go for some bigger ones like cowcos and just one rod for the time being. I don't want to be too too much mucking around on the board of the boat. Slow down about four knots. Make sure this lure's stuck in the water. It's all not vibrating. So no hits yet. I threw out my second lure, but the Hauko, a lot more action. So I'm just on the edge of the channel. About four and a half meters, and there's about two meters. That's always a good spot for the tailor. Fishing out the sun's up, that's sort of get away from the shallows. Oh! So I just caught on my eye, the, saw this rod take off. Went for the dive up. Hopefully it's a decent size. I just saw in the corner of my um, eye, there's a bit of a school here. Now I don't want him to, to stop the bite. I don't want him to jump out of the water because that's how they can free themselves. And he doesn't seem to be a big specimen. Bit of a chopper. There he is. Let's see if he can come up. Oh, and he came off. It's all right, he, was, he would have been a smaller size one. But first fish of the day, which is good. I actually had one, I was just reeling it up, but it had a nice hit. It didn't stick. I think we're in the zone. Oh, yeah. I think I got one. Been jumping around. Let's see if he can come on board. He might be a sizey. Come on, jump on the boat. Come on. Oh yes. It is. I reckon he's a legal size tailor. Woo! That took 
almost forever. Let's get the pliers here. Yeah. Now, he wasn't going anywhere. He really chomped onto that lure. I'd say he's a legal size one. First, second fish of the day, but first fish landed. I'd say he's a keeper. There we go. Let's go measure him up. Yeah, 30, 33 centimetres. So that's it. Beautiful Swan River Taylor. City's right there. Kicks Park over there. Yeah, beauty. Nice, nice, fresh fish tucker from the most isolated city, most isolated capital city in the world. <laughs> there we go. The ice in there too. I'm having a bit of troubles here with um, the lure sticking to the water. Very strange. I'm actually th think I'm actually getting bitten by a lot of small ones. It's a weird situation. Okay. Right, so this really took off this one here. I'm actually going to move the boat a bit more. The other one hooked up. Yes, yeah, so this is a better specimen here. About time, I was actually getting worried. It took me a while to find a few fish. Okay, this is foul hooked, but let's see. Hopefully, he's a uh, sizey on the top of the head. Oh, that's that's um that proves that these fish they run up to it. And they try and attack it, and just unfortunately they get hooked up. Now for this fish's sake, hopefully his size, I think he is. Actually, no, he looks a bit on the small side. Well, lucky for me, he's in 31 centimetres. He is a bit injured, so it does pay for the fish to be sized. Yeah, beauty. Awesome, so I actually went over to a shallow bank and this one here took off, which is good. Always exciting to see if I get a fish. Oh no, ah, oh, false alarm. Yeah, so this is a shallow bank. I actually was hitting the bottom, a bit of weed. So I see that on the sounder. There's a few birds hovering around me, so that's a good sign. Oh, this rod just did move down. Hard to tell. Oh yeah, I've got a bit of a bit of a boom boom. Oh my god. Oh. Ah, oi, that's all right. Little chopper. So we got some bird activity. Thank God. Yeah, there's definitely some activity there. I'll try and kill it good. Hopefully the lures take off. I don't know if I'm getting hit. No, there's birds here, definite birds here. Right. Finally, just as I put the rod in the rod holder, got a hook up. Just surprised I didn't get hooked up before because the birds were just going nuts. And um, yeah, I thought maybe they were just too small. Or just a lot of bait fish. Where well, there's bait fish, there's got to be some tailor. And this is a tailor, and he's a fine specimen. Alrighty. So, man, that was um, frustrating. I was throwing lures and everything. Right, I put him over there. He's definitely a keeper. Yep, it's just on the side. So some more fish tucker. Right, so as promised to put the camera on the lure, I put a bit of a bit of a weight under there. I just want to see if it's gonna work. Yeah, 
Yeah, that should be it. Oh, I should hook up pretty soon because I can see fish under the sounder. Hopefully, uh, you see the action of the lure at least. If there's any fish coming up towards it. Probably a bit daunting, you see this big camera there in the lure. The fish are like going, nah, mate. around now. Right, so on, and the other little camera got hit. I don't know if there's a fish on it, but I have to get the boat moving because it'll just sink. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, Woo! Awesome. The cameras don't know which one's going on. But they're just size. So I've got to be careful. Yeah, they're all in the 31 size range. Still pretty good tucker. Hard to get funny wind out here, pretty choppy too. Woo! with the moon boot and I still got some good fish tucker so yeah just gotta take it easy you yeah, beauty go home cook these up don't know how I'm gonna cook them up yet I might make a fish wrap why not you yeah, beauty right time for the cook up it is lunch time just caught these freshly this morning I reckon I'm going to cook this one up here, leave, this one, leave those ones there for another day, mow for tonight. Yeah, so fresh Taylor, it's been bled, so this is going to taste pretty good. I've been eating frozen fish lately, <laughs> so this is going to be a really good, really good surprise. I am going to fill it, but I'm going to keep the... Um, the frame in the head for, for marinara later on during the week. Right on, just look at that. That's what you call a fillet. No bones in that at all. Because I left the rib cage still there. Most she's going to leave the skin on. Beauty. So I'm going to really simply fry this up. And you need to salt to salt the fillets before you put it in. And this salt striker is not the best. I've got one garlic clove in the pan. Got some butter. I think I've got a knife. What the hell? I'm going to use butter in this dish. Don't usually cook fish in butter. Put the garlic in there so I get some garlic butter. And 
why not? Nice little chili. Oops. Shit. So chili garlic butter. Plus a bit of rosemary. Because tart is pretty strong in fibre, you can handle the rosemary. Now ideally I should flour this, but let's go a bit carb free today. <laughs> Besides the wraps. The bad thing about fresh fish here, it just curls straight away. So I should have actually cut the skin a bit. Let's see how this one goes. Yeah, so straight away it sort of just constricts, but then it collapses back down again. I'm going to put in some fennel seeds, just a little bit. Finish the flavour. And some black pepper. Alright, right, so while I'm waiting for those to cook up, I'm going for two wraps because I'm actually pretty hungry after the fishing trip this morning. Got some grilled flame burger sauce. Just a bit. There you go. Oh, and that's really, um, it's really pungent. It's Taylor with the butter. Do this. Get some salad right down there. Got some salad in the garden, this is too hot. Harvest. So. It's so fresh, it's actually collapsing. There you go. Juicy, really juicy. Might find some. Some parsley. Freshen it up a bit. Looking good. Yes, yeah, so it's definitely getting cooked. I reckon it's done. And I'll keep on cooking as I turn it off. So I'll do that. I'll put it straight into the Straight into the wrap. One over there. One right here. Yeah, I'm not going to be shy. Chuck all the juices in there. You can squeeze some lemon juice on here as well. That'd make a nice little compliment to the dish. I've never been really good at wrapping stuff up. Oh. I reckon it's coming up pretty good. Oop, I'm sticking out. There you have it. That looks alright. Let's go for a bite of that. That's unbelievable. Mm. Mm. Easy. Took me maybe five, ten minutes to pick this up. Fantastic, nice Taylor wrap. I'm gonna wrap this episode up. Make sure you like and subscribe, give us a comment. Enjoy the Fish Tucker Man. We'll see you next time. Dom Appetit. Yummo. Fish Tucker, Fish Tucker, Fish mm. Tucker Man. I'm glad fish, I made two. Tucker, Fish Tucker, the Fish Tucker Man.